Hello everyone, welcome to the training of DeedGus Software Learning. This time, we will learn the function of zone scrolling. How do we achieve zone scrolling like this? I will introduce it from two parts, software setting and practical demonstration. First is the software setting part. We need to open the T5L DGUS 2 application development guide and then turn to the zone scroll section. We are going to use a number of functions today. About speed adjustment, scrolling direction and so on, so we need to use SP to control zone scrolling. This is the offset of SP. 05 indicates SP plus 05, which is used to control move speed. 06H indicates SP plus 06 and high bite are used to control shifting left, right, up, and down. Next, we need to master some deed gust control parameter settings. This is the control setting for zone rolling. We're going to use the SP address, so I set it to 2000. This is the VP address, 1000 to FFFF is available for the user to set, so we set it to 1000. Set the scrolling speed to 10. Since we used SP, we were able to manually control the direction. The moving mode is invalid. We can choose the default setting. As for the move direction, we need to use the return key code control. Select the pre-designed button effect image. About key value. 00, 0 equals shift left, 0, 01 equals shift right, 0, 02 equals shift up, 0, 03 equals shift down. The address that controls roll direction is SP plus 06H, so we set the VP address to 2006 and select high bite. And finally, speed adjustment. We need to use incremental adjustment. Select the button effect. The address that controls rolling speed is SP plus 05, so we set the VP address to 2005. Select int bite. The adjust mode selects plus. The over limit operation selects circle mode so that the operation can continue to loop. We divided the speed into six levels, with step length set to 5, lower speed to 1, and upper speed to 30. Now, please join me in doing this. Let's open DGUS and go through the actual steps. First, click New. And set the resolution to match that of your screen. Then set the file path and click OK. Click the plus sign and select the background image. The image needs to be named from 00, 00 onwards. Next we need to generate 32 to ICL background image. Click Welcome, then click Dwin ICL Generator. Select the image directory. And finally click Generate. Name it 32 to ICL file. Click Touch and Display Config. Under the graph show, select Area Scrolling Display. Box select the picture area. The parameter settings section is the same as I described before. We're going to use the SP address, so we're going to set it to 2000. This is the VP address. 1000 FFFF is available for the user to set, so we set it to 1000. Set the scrolling speed to 10. Since we used SP, we were able to manually control the direction. The moving mode is invalid. Default settings are sufficient. Next, the movement direction. Under the touch control, select return key code. Box select touch area. About parameter settings. Select the button effect. Scroll to the left and set the key value to 00. zero. The address that controls roll direction is SP plus 06H, so we set the VP address to 2006. 
and select high byte. And then I'm going to copy it three times. Only change the number of the key value, leaving everything else the same. The key value for scrolling up is 02. The key value for scrolling down is 03. The key value for scrolling right is 01. For the speed adjustment function, we need to select incremental adjustment. Box select touch area. About parameter settings. Select the button effect. The address that controls roll speed is SP plus 05, so we set the VP address to 2005. Select int byte. The adjust mode selects plus. The over limit operation selects circle mode so that the operation can continue to loop. We divided the speed into six levels, with step length set to 5, lower speed to 1, and upper speed to 30. Finally, generate the file and click Save. Copy the Dwin set folder to the SD card for burning. And we can get the zone scrolling project. Next, insert the SD card into the slot. And power up the screen. Burn the project to the screen. Blue screen showing end indicates that burning is complete. Then power off and remove the SD card. And power on again. We can see the picture moving to the left. Scroll up. Scroll left. Scroll down. Scroll right. Adjust the speed. Thanks for watching.